For the sign of Libra, hello and welcome to my channel. So Libra, for the present time, we have sun and then it's with the Knight of Pentacles. Now the sun card, it's showing up here. And it's looking like towards the end of April, things will be going really well for you. Your finances, they're likely to be in really good shape. Now, this doesn't mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important in life. And for some of us, well, let me see, maybe a few of us, money is not high on the list. When you get the sun card, that's what it's, that's what it's saying. It's saying with the sun card, it's a good time to socialize, meet new people. Uh, we can't do it now. Not too much to get out and about. But you can meet new people online, some kind of way. And if you're looking for a new job, this card, it signifies that it is right around the corner. If you're looking for one, it's coming in. And the Sun card, it's with the Knight of Pentacles. It's about some type of a message. It could be regards to money, finance, and... You're likely to finally receive some type of news that you had been waiting on. And this news is going to be really good news. This night is a very practical card. It tells us to pay attention to the mundane, normal parts of your life. You probably heard the saying before, if you take care of the little things, the big things will usually fall into place. The Knight of Pentacles, it asks you to take a look at how you're handling your affairs. So, basically for the present time, coming up towards the end of April, the sun card in the Knight of Pentacles. <sighs> someone could be coming in. Someone new or maybe someone that you already know. Somebody who's very practical. They'll come in slow and steady. And th th this person is very stable, civil. Very, very much so. They've got themselves together. Or this could be just just you, Libra. It could be you enjoying the fact that your finances are in great shape. Or they're finally coming back together. Or, or your finances are finally looking up. So it could go either way. And it's going to make you feel like happy days are here again. And it's going to make you feel like um, there's a lot of sunshine in your life. Either a person or a situation with the Knight of Pentacles. So it's a really good thing for the present time. Very good. Um, you'll be very, very happy. You'll feel like there are bright days ahead. So, if you're dealing with someone, why don't we take a look at how they see you. Now, they see you like this Three of Wands. And they also see you like the High Priestess. Now, the Three of Wands, it's showing that you'll find that your finances, your money is going to be much better. In fact, with this Three of Wands, it's going to feel like your ship, your ship has finally come in. That's what the Three of Wands is about. Finally taking off. Finally coming in. And you're probably not... Well, let me put it this way. You're likely to be feeling very strong. With a good reason. Very strong. You could be finally experiencing some important success after you've been through some difficult times. Um... So it's very positive in a lot of ways, but I'm picking up finances and, and work. It means that your efforts, they're being seen and appreciated and well respected. So that's how your person is seeing you. They see you like this three of wands. They see you looking ahead in this connection. And um, they see you looking ahead 
to make it grow, to make it expand. They see you wanting teamwork. And they also see you like this high priestess. Now the high priestess, it can be a spiritual card. It can have some sexual overtones. It does mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. This card is tied to the moon, to femininity, and to inspiration. So it's going to be a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge, your inner knowledge, rather than your conscious mind or your intellect. Also, pay attention to your dreams towards the end of April. If you keep a dream diary, it's going to be a really good idea. So they, they also see you like this high priestess. Three of Wands and the High Priestess. Like I said, with the Three of Wands, they see you wanting teamwork in this connection. Or they see you give a lot of teamwork to this connection. Or you try to make it feel like teamwork. Um, but it's because it's with this High Priestess, they also see you as mysterious. Because the, the High Priestess can be very mysterious kind of quiet sometimes they pull back their energy um, the high priestess is sitting pretty sitting very pretty like I said before a lot of people are drawn drawn to the high priestess so they find you attractive very attractive and they they're happy that you want teamwork and you want this connection to grow and that's how you see them, Libra. Now let's take a look at how... I'm sorry, that's how they see you. Did I just say that? That's how they see you. Okay, the High Priestess and the Three of Wands. I hope I said that. So let's move on over. Let's take a look at how you see them. Now you see them like the Magician. And you also see them as the Ten of Swords. Now the Magician... It's about new beginnings and great expectations. Uh, it reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in a whole lot of ways. In many ways. Just know that you're not going to have it handed to you on a plate though. But, with this card showing up in your reading towards the end of April or towards May, you're going to have... Um, the potential, you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. Because the magician is all about action. So if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then make sure you do something. Because anything is going to be better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. And this is how you see your person. You see them as trying to manifest this connection. Um, yeah, you see them being strategic and planning, but you also see them as this Ten of Swords. Now, the Ten of Swords is a, sig it's a signal to be careful where you put your trust. When the Ten comes up in relation to questioning whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable, the answer is definitely not. You cannot trust the situation. However, try to keep in mind that whenever a door closes, another door will open. You're being guided to a situation that's better for you. So, once again, you see them as the Magician and Ten of Swords. So, wow, you see them as, hmm, you see them as trying to manifest this connection with you trying to make it happen but then you see them as not succeeding they failed at it they were defeated huh okay yeah maybe you weren't trusting the situation and so they didn't have any luck with you they, um, you see them as, 
maybe they didn't trust something. You see them as this ten of swords, not trusting. But they try because if they with the, they have this manifestation here. They tried, but it was a failure. It was ruined. So they didn't trust you or you didn't trust them. Because this is how you see them. They're right on the ground. It's a flop. And then they got all these swords stabbed in their back. But they really tried. It was something that they wanted with you, Libra. So that, once again, that's how you see them. Now let's take a look at why that happened. All right, now we got this Six of Wands and we have the Hangman. Now the Six of Wands, it's about victory. I don't know if you can see this card, but it's, it's a beautiful card. This lady, she's standing up on the podium and she's got about five people, well, she got a lot of people surrounding her. The card only shows the front. I'm sure she's got a lot more people surrounding her. And they're all rooting, cheering her on. They're boosting her up. They're telling her to go for it. Yes. And she feels victorious. And she, she feels like she's having a lot of success with these people. So the Six of Wands, it's about victory. If you have a court case or a court proceeding coming up, or if you want to win your lover's heart, you will be victorious. This could indicate any kind of celebration. You could be a part of a graduation party, commitment celebration. Well, these days everything is online, so with this lockdown, um, it could be a part of something that's very celebratory or you could be receiving some type of reward for good work that you've done now the six of wands it's going to make you feel really good about yourself Libra really good you, you probably start to feel as if you have, you have a lot of support from a whole lot of people around you on the other hand you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing. And this is one of the reasons why it's happening. One of the reasons why it's happening is because of the Six of Wands. Now let's clarify it with this hangman here before we get into the details. Because the hangman is it's kind of interesting. It's about being at a crossroads could be the type of crossroads where there are two options in or out up or down yes or no you might start to find yourself wanting to do something but then you have no idea of what it is or how to do it if that does happen if it happens it's a sign that you should stop relax and look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life maybe situations could be people or things it's possible also that there's an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of. The hangman is about letting go too. Some some outdated attitude maybe you need to let it go or let go of it. Because I say this, any sacrifice that you make is going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you're letting go of. So it's about a thoughtful reflective time. Especially if you're willing to look at if or how it might serve your own interests, your own best interests, by being willing to change. So why it's happening here, Six of Wands and Hangman. You or your person... They, they wanted success and victory in this connection. But they only found themselves to be at a crossroads. Yes or no, up or down. 
in or out. They were confused. It just left them confused, but they really wanted victory. They wanted victory a lot because, uh, like I said, this Six of Wands is about being victorious and recognition. But it only left you or your person stuck in their head here with the hangman. Yeah, they wanted to win you or you wanted to win them. They wanted acknowledgement. But it just it left them kind of stuck and confused here with the hangman. They're just stuck in their head. At a feeling like they're at a crossroads, possibly needing to let go. Yep, possibly need, knowing they need to let go because they're just stuck and they wanted recognition with you or like I said, you with them. And I'm picking up it might have been them, Libra, because we talked about how you see them as defeated and ruined. And they wanted to manifest a connection with you. Because they liked you. They saw you as the high priestess sitting real pretty. Really pretty. And your money was looking good or it's about to start looking good. <laughs> so they saw you coming abundance. And they saw you real, they, they think you're really beautiful. So, somebody's stuck in their head. They're having a hard time being victorious with you. So Libra, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Enjoyed this reading. Enjoyed this reading.